everyone. This video is going to show you how to manage all those tabs you have open. Every day I come in and I end up with so many tabs and I'm flipping back and forth between what I need for first period versus what I need for second period. And there's just an easy new feature that Google Chrome offers you to group your tabs. So I've come in in the morning and I'm trying to get everything ready for the day. I just realize I'm having too many tabs open and it's too hard. You know, once you get too many, you can't even tell what some of these say. You have to make sure you know which slide is which slide. So what you can do is I know that my agenda needs to be open for period one. So I'm going to right click on my tab and I'm going to say add tab to new group. And I'm going to say this is for my period one class and I'm going to make them red. Okay. So now my agenda is pulled in there. So you can see it's highlighted in red with that one. And I'm also going to do a Jamboard with my period one. So if I just drag it in into the red area, I know that that's all included. And so that's just my period one. So if I click back on the period one word here, it'll collapse those down into there. And then when I'm ready to use them for period one, I just click on them and open them back up again. So now I know I'm going to do this next activity with period two. So I'm going to right click on that, add tab to new group. And so I could actually add it to period one just like that, or I want to create a new group and I'm going to name this one period two. So my period two students are going to be doing this activity and they're also going to be doing a Kahoot. Okay, so I'm going to collapse those down. Then I know my period four is going to be using this Athens and Sparta presentation. So I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to add new group. And instead of uh, period one or period two, I'm going to add a new group. And this is my period four class. And I'm going to make them pink. So I've been showing you how I've been clicking and dragging into the color that I want it to be. But I can right click on this and say add to group and just say I want this exit ticket in period four. And I'm going to click period four and do that. And so now the last thing I want, I like to keep Twitter up so I can um, stay up to date and tweet things happening in the classroom. So I'm going to say new group and I'm going to name this my social media group. And I'm going to make that one blue. So if I ever need Twitter, I can just pop on over here, open Twitter real quick and do what I need to do there. And then Desmos, I know that this is going to be in my period eight class. So I'm going to make that orange. Okay, so when I am ready, I'm going to just access my period one and I don't have to touch any of these other tabs. The one caution I will tell you is that if you were to completely close out of your browser or uh, close down your computer and restart, you would have to create these groups again. So it's just something that you would do in the morning to get yourself ready for the day. And anytime you need to go to a new tab, let's say I wanted to pull in using actively learn. I can just go to the site, right click, add this group to my period four, and now it's in there. So I'm all set for the day. If for any reason you want to ungroup these or you want to take a tab out, if you want to ungroup all of them from period one, let's say you're done for the day, you can actually right click on it and actually close the group and get out of it. Okay, so all those are gone. So now you have the rest of your classes or you could right click on a group and just ungroup them. And so now period two group is gone, but your tabs are still here. So remember with period one, we actually closed the group. With period two, we ungrouped. I hope this helps you streamline some of your workflows throughout the day and get you easier access to what you need when you need it.